Hi everyone, this is Manas and it's going to be yet another tutorial in this series on isometric views. And guys, here is the orthographic projection in which uh, the front view, this over here represents the front view and this is what you call the left hand side view or the side view. Alright, so we're going to prepare this, uh, what you call the isometric view of this overall object or in simple terms I would say this as a 3D view of this object whose front view and top view are being given to us. So let's quickly figure out. Um, so initially I'm going to start off by drawing a horizontal line. Alright, so that's the horizontal line and somewhere along this line, somewhere around the midpoint, I'm going to draw a line uh, equivalent to the length. Okay, but for that I need to figure out from these two views, this over here is the front view and in front view you can see this 50 millimeters. So this represents the length and this is the left hand side view in which you can see the breadth and this breadth has been given as 50 millimeters. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a base of 50 by 50. So length is going to be over here. Okay, done and breadth is going to be here 30 millimeters again. With respect to the baseline, it's going to make an angle of 30 degrees. Uh, something else has been done. Um, Alright, that's that's perfect. And the next thing to do is to place your trapdoor along this line. Tighten the screw. Bring it over here. Draw a line. Same stuff. Trapdoor along this line. Tighten the screw. Bring it over here. Draw a line. So that's the base. Now. Uh, you can see that this foundation over here is having a height of 15 millimeters okay it may appear that this is a single point rather there are two points one at the front and the other at the back one at the front and the other at the back okay so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a height of 50 millimeters all these four points all right all these four points so let's uh do this 15 millimeters so let me zoom on it 15 one five yeah pretty much and then let me copy this. You guys can do this uh, with the help of a mini drafter or a ruler scale. All right, so that's the foundation. Let me join all these four points, okay, with the help of a line. That's it. That's it. Done. Okay, guys, uh, the next thing that I'm going to be doing uh, is so this this is for please look at the mouse look at the mouse and this is for the front view okay and this is for the side view or the left hand side view now in the front view we have to see this profile over here so this is going to be point this is this is the point that i'm talking about please watch it carefully this is the point i'm talking about it corresponds to this point over here in the isometric view this point over here so what we need to do is we need to go towards the right by 10 millimeters then above by 5 then again 30, 5, and this is again going to be 10. So 10, 5, 30, 5, 10. All right. Um, let's do this. This is going to be 10. This is going to be 5. Then this is going to be 30 and then over here this is going to be let me let me do this in a much better way um, that's it so this is the profile that we were supposed to draw and now for better clarity and visualization I'm going to chop off um, this portion okay let me yeah rather eliminated absolutely all right and this portion also will not be visible and it should be something like this okay so that's what you see from the front okay that's what you see from the front all right um, exactly now something else will be seen from the front also I'm gonna show you what exactly it is um, please let me do this okay that's it and only this edge over here, there is an edge over here okay and only some portion of that edge will be visible so I'm chopping off the portion which will not be visible in fact um, let me do this um, that's it 
so this is the portion of the edge at the bottom which is contact with the ground all right so the now uh, some portion of the front view has been created and the next thing to do is to look at the side view so when you look at this object from the side it appears that there is a gap of five millimeters five millimeters from over here so we have to look at it from sideways from this side all right so that was exactly what was supposed to be done and now moving further you can see this uh, this is from the front and from the front you need to go here by an amount of 40 millimeters all right let's finish it you need to come over here by an amount of 40 millimeters all right so here we have and then the same stuff has to be repeated for this edge also okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna these lines okay let me finish this right, box something like this okay I'm doing all these things just because I need to have more clarity in my drawing all right now when you look at this object from the front so there is this edge over here so this should look something like this all right and let me let me draw this again all right okay fine and let me chop off this portion again for better visualization that's what my intention is always um, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is you can see that this over here it's written SQ30 from the front from the front so there is this profile over here which is not visible directly but the, there are these so-called edges which are which are not visible directly but we have to give them some respect and we have to create those edges if they appear or not we don't know but we have to make them all right so let's do this quickly from five here and five here okay so I'm gonna draw a square over here all right and that square is going to have a depth of say this is gonna be how much this depth corresponds to where is the dimension this 10 millimeters so this square is going to have a depth of 10 millimeters so we need to create a square initially okay having this 5 okay 5 as offset so let's do this then again 5 here also that's it yeah pretty much all right now these are the four points and I'm going to join these four points with the help of a line and here you're going to see a square of 30 millimeters okay you can clearly see SQ 30 so that's the square um, let me wrap this construction it's not needed anymore okay so that's the square that I was talking about. Now, guys, um, this square is going to have a depth of 10 millimeters. So all these four points are supposed to be given a certain amount of depth and that's going to be 10 millimeters. So let's come downwards in the direction. Uh, this is going to be 10 millimeters. Let me do this in a different way, better way. You can make use of a mini drafter for this purpose. Um, all right. So we have drawn the square okay so just as there is this square right at the top so there is going to be a square right at uh, the not not at the bottom but um, 10 millimeters below okay you can draw a square joining all these four points okay and it should look something like this um, let me tell you how it is that's it but but only a certain portion of that square is going to be visible to us okay so this is not going to be visible this is not going to be visible only some portion of that square is going to be visible and that portion is let me tell you let me show you rather all right so that's what's visible to us that's what visible to us okay so I guess uh, this is more or less uh, some kind of a 3D effect that we have given to this particular figure right now. All right. Now let's work out this this over here. So this is this can be seen from the side view. This is a side view. In fact, this is front view. 
that's from here and this is the side view that's from here so you can see that we are, we are watching a circle some kind of a circle over here okay somewhere along the center of this of this line over here that corresponds to this line in the isometric view somewhere along its center and down below by an amount of 20 millimeters we're going to have a center and this circle is going to be having a radius of let me see how much this radius is so this is working out as starting from this over here corresponds to this point and this circle is going to be having a radius of 30 millimeters that means uh, not 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 a radius rather a diameter of 30 millimeters and its radius it's going to be 15 millimeters now let's figure out this we're going to take this point this point come down below by an amount of 20 millimeters so let's do this why wait it's 20 so with this guy as center i'm going to be drawing a circle okay but this is the isometric view and you know very well that for an isometric view you need to draw an isometric circle and the procedure is pretty simple uh, please follow the steps and you'll be through with no real fuss okay so that's the center point all right so we're gonna go upstairs by an amount of 15 millimeters yeah then we're gonna go downstairs again by an amount of 15 millimeters all right then we we've got to go rightwards all right then finally we have this leftwards over here all right and this is the plane in which we are going to draw an isometric view of a circle and for that um, please keep your mini chapters along this line and uh, tighten the screw then move it downwards draw a line take it upwards draw a line and then keep your chapters along this vertical line okay tighten the screw take it to the left draw a line take it to the right draw a line and this is uh, what you call an, a parallelogram or a rhombus inside which we're going to be inscribing our ellipse okay that's in fact the isometric view of a circle all right now for that please have a look at this smaller diagonal so this is the smaller diagonal and this one over here is the larger diagonal this one large this one small so please have a careful look for from the two corners of those uh, from from the two ends of that smaller diagonal I'm going to be drawing these so-called lines okay intersecting the midpoint of the opposite side so this is the opposite side with respect to this corner and that's its midpoint same stuff from this corner also midpoint and from this corner to this midpoint okay now this, <coughs> the idea is pretty simple now with this guy as center and with this much as the radius I'm gonna be drawing an arc it's going to intersect this somewhere here okay that's an arc all right I've already shown you and if you have seen if you have seen my previous videos on how to draw isometric view of a circle then this should be a cakewalk for you okay that's it again taking this guy as the center this much as the radius let's rotate this until it reaches somewhere here all right now again we need to repeat the step the center is going to be different it's going to be this guy starting from this point let us keep on drawing this all right so now here we have the isometric view of a circle um i'm not going to darken it right away um all right so the next step that is supposed to be done is to project this circle circular profile project this circular profile by an amount of 20 millimeters in the forward direction okay and that should finish our drawing right uh, let's do this okay but how are you guys going to implement this um, it's pretty simple I'm gonna tell you please watch this 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 same plus sign you see over here okay has to be drawn now I'm gonna draw a line initially so this is going to be 20 mm long all right okay so that's the line I hope this is visible all right so this line this was the center so here we have is initially the center was here and then 20 mm uh, up ahead here we again have a center so the over here also we are going to have an isometric circle over here also we, we are going to again have an isometric circle all right so the step is it's pretty simple please uh, watch it carefully Let me copy this. You need to construct this. 
over here all right and let me check it once again whether this distance is 20 or not no 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 i'm talking about this distance over here okay this is working out as 20 all right all right all right all right so this is the plus sign what i was talking about and using this guy you need to again create a circle over here all right all right so that is exactly what is supposed to be done all right and the next thing is to join these points with the help of a line and let me do this quickly and it should look something like this that's it okay guys that's exactly how this uh, object is gonna look and finally let me give it some touches looking pretty good now okay so this portion is also supposed to be darkened this one also is supposed to be darkened all right you can you can uh, only up until you reach here that is supposed to be darkened and until you reach here that is supposed to be darkened so this is gonna be something like this and that's gonna be something something like this all right so this is exactly how it's gonna look like an isometric view and you can now clearly see as to which solid edges are visible and which edges are not visible okay you can darken them okay and let me let me erase this let me erase this also fine okay guys that's pretty much it and that's exactly uh, how the object would look like in 3d view or an isometric view and you can clearly see that this over here represents the front view from here this is going to be the front view and we look at it, this object from over here from this side over here you're going to see this as the side view all right so guys that was all from my side and if you have any doubts any queries any questions for that matter do write them down in the comment section below and i always try to respond in the best possible way and as quickly as possible all right so guys this is manas patnak signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing